air surge shaft buckle. Move the air surge shaft to the upper material swing arm. Long press the feed down button and drop the gas surge shaft. Pass the surge shaft through the paper roll. Long press the feed button to move the paper roll to the upper rack and lock the buckle on both sides. Lateral location of the raw material Adhesive with plus paperback side width plus a half paperback face width equal to paperback center. Distance of paper roll side from wall board equal white center below paperback distance from wall board minus binding width minus paperback side width minus paperback face width divide 2. The center position of the paper bag should be in same plane as that of the host center position. After the position of the paper roll is set correctly, inflect it the air surge shaft. Molding department. Disassemble and assemble forming template. Remove the front and rear clip disc outside. Remove the bolts of the template connector and remove the template connector. Release the fixing screw for the phone work fixing beam and remove the phone work together with the phone work fixing beam. Release the template fixing screws. Remove the original template. Changing with the required face wide template. Rock the template fixing screws. Install the phone work and phone work retaining pin back and pre tighten the screws. Adjust the template toe to the center of the machine and rock the screws. Rock the fixing screws of the phone work retaining beam. Adjust the toe portion of the molding template. Check whether the forming template is aligned with the traction wheel. If no, losing the fixing screws. Relax the fixing cap of the adjustment screws. Turn the adjustment screw clockwise to improve the toe of the molding template. Turn the adjustment screw counterclockwise to reduce the toe of the forming template. After the setting, relock the fixing screw of the adjustment screw. Relock the two fixed screws. Set the press weight and friction wheel. The friction wheel will tighten the cell phone phone work edge of the material inward. Adjust the screw handle to change the length of friction wheel extension and the angle to the forming template. These wheels should be 5 to 10 degrees angle from the host center line. Increase or reduce the count weight on the friction wheel as required. Set the height of the clip disc. Check that the clip disc is in the center of the two molded template. If no, relax the height adjustment hand wheel of the supporting retaining frame on the wall of the machine vehicle. Use the height adjustment hand wheel to adjust support retaining wheel as required and rock the height adjustment hand wheel after the adjustment. Set the lateral position of the clip disc. Turn the clip disc and adjust the hand wheel until the molding template edge is aligned to the correct scale on the clip disc. The clip disc should be half 
paper bag side wide. Set the guide rod for the molding template. Adjust the screw handle to change the relative position of the guide rod and the paper cylinder. Correct and adjust the guide rod so that the material passes smoothly through the forming template and coat. Wear paper. Close the tension and raise the traction wheel. Pour the paper roll over the roll section according to the specified path to straighten the paper roll completely. Lift the friction wheel of the molding part. Before the paper roll enters the forming part, fold the front end of the paper roll. Pull the paper roll out for a distance. Point the paper bag at the center of the host machine and pull the paper screw under the forming template. Fold the material under the forming template so that the width under the paper cylinder. One hand holds the paper roll above the template. One hand pulls the paper roll under the template and the lower hand vigorously pulls the paper roll forward. Until you pull the paper roll to the traction wheel and put it down. Reopen the tension. Start traction wheel at low speed. Remove the paper from the traction wheel and ask an assistant to pull the paper. Set the tension to the appropriate size. When adjusting the preset value is equal to the detection value, turn on the automatic tension value. Drop the friction wheel in turn. Measure whether the side value is the preset value. If not, you can turn the clip edge disc to adjust the hand wheel for fine tuning. Set the side groove device. The knob of the edge groove device has three states. When the edge groove device does not work, the edge groove device is always working. When the operation state of the edge groove device automatically follows the operation state of the device. The coating of the edge device is about 1 mm away from the roller. Rotate the side groove to adjust the hand wheel, which can move the applicator horizontally on the drum and move applicator to the edge of paper cylinder. Adjust the knob on the applicator clockwise to adjust the amount of groove. Adjust the knob on the, on the applicator counterclockwise and adjust the amount